Hey, in this Pearson Workholding Q&A, this is an episode one of four of a shop tour series. We had Kelvin Verrett from Urban Survival Gear stop by and he asked a lot of really good questions. We filmed it. And in this episode, we're gonna show you how we manage inventory, fulfill orders, and it doesn't matter if you're a machine shop, a woodworker, or just a hobbyist, you're usually shipping stuff, handling inventory. Hopefully you get some value out of this episode. Let's get started. All right, so this is the shop floor, man. This is beautiful, man. This is ripped. <laughs> It looks a lot bigger on TV. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it looks a lot bigger on TV, but like the way you set it up. Yeah, okay. So I, I went to the Tonight Show filming back in the day when it was Jay Leno. I walked in the studio. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. this place is tiny. You know, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it expands stuff out when, you're, when, you're, when you see it on camera. So um, let, how about we do this? Let's start with the natural process of us getting an order. And yeah. then we just follow it naturally. That's exactly so, what I want to Okay, see, let's please. go. Uh, order rolls in on our website. Well, okay, well, 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 you know what? Even pre that, uh -huh. your orders, so you make it per order. I mean, you make items per order, not so much as the batch you, and you keep those batches on stock. Uh, yes and no. Okay, so, yeah. so uh, an order will come in, we will see it, we'll print out all the documents, uh, we'll get a purchase, uh, I'm sorry, a packing slip. That packing slip has a pick list. That pick list will say, like, for example, if they order oh, our vacuum system, wow, okay. it'll say, yeah. uh, right, right, right. It'll, sh it'll say like shelf, what is this? Uh, 17R, 1, 2, 11, 13 VPU. And so the, our guy will see that, this code, this number. And so he'll Let's go to- Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. <laughs> Let this marinate. You said something there. Uh-huh. When the order comes in, yeah. the order basically says what to assemble and also the shelf number. Yes. So you've integrated all that into your back end yeah. shipping software. Yeah. So, okay, so it's not just, hey, I want a pallet or hey, uh -huh. I want a vacuum system. No. It doesn't say vacuum system one. No. It, well, it does on the top line so on the that top a line, human yes. can read it, but right below is the code that we read when we pick it. And so, and then the quantity. So our process is we get a packing slip and it says uh, SV2 starter 914. That means yep. a smart vac 2 starter package 914 vacuum chuck, quantity right. one. Right. And then underneath that, the code 17R121113 VPU. Those are all numbers. And it's tied into your stock. Consistent. So then we take that, that okay. quantity that's in our yes, head and we yes, go, okay, yes, yes. 17R, shelf 17R for right. We'll pull this, okay, uh -huh. we'll put that down. And then I, we know from memory that it's 1, 2, 11, 13 VPU. And notice what we just did. Okay, mm -hmm. so that's a very common order. I can stand here and not move and grab everything I need. No more than done. one step. And I'm walking back yeah. with a pile of stuff that I start boxing. Okay, so that's our process. We're not assembling necessary, necessarily. We are just picking everything right so in an old way you would think well i want like all my big boxes up there my little boxes and right, it's exactly. just scattered but in here this is a cell so we practice lean manufacturing yes one of the principles is uh, uh to uh, uh, one of the waste is wasted motion yes so if i'm going over there for a vacuum chuck over here for a vacuum power unit uh gasket is up here all the clamp stuff down there that's crazy you exactly. know so we're just coming in we got that number 17r pick that that's one walk, then we come back here. We've only walked about 10 feet to get everything. And so that's, that's how we pick everything. I just read Henry Ford's book. Okay. Uh, my Life, My Work. Uh -huh. And that verbatim was in there. Oh. About not moving no more than one step yeah. for any one person, for any one job. So what we try and do, we, have, we yeah. work in cells, uh, U-shaped or linear. So here, Whoa, we, okay. we can literally pivot and everything for our vacuum product line is in this little spot. <laughs> God, we don't okay. move <laughs> Dead at all. All right, all right, okay? all right. So we got our 914s, our chucks, our top plates, our 1320 bases, top plates, 1330, same thing. 
then we got our, our 1824s, okay. our 1313s. So we're pivoting and then walking. Yeah. We're walking, collect, go back. So okay. um, that's the process. Same thing over there, that cell is okay. everything we need for our pallet systems. Over here is our, is our roto vise and as well as our raw component wall. So when we do go to, to assemble, we okay. pick bins and walk straight out the closest door to the workbench and start assembling. Then it comes right back here and it's distributed appropriately, so. So the seed value is the actual, okay. Yeah. So how then, you, okay. uh -huh. go ahead. How do you know what to keep in, I mean, cause okay, what we said was when a when a PO comes in mm -hmm. and you assemble it, mm -hmm. and then you get ready to ship out, mm -hmm. but then you also keep stock on hand that's pre-assembled. That's right. Like, is yeah. that based on sales volume or is that based on? Yeah. So, uh, for example, let me get one. Okay. This um, this the card here. Card. Yeah. So these are Kanban cards. I think yeah. we just sold one today, possibly. Okay. And so when one sells and we hit this card, now you see there's going to be cards like there, here, this is below the inventory. So this yes. is in production, card, card, card. Even our boxes, like you'll see that there's cards, cards everywhere. Got know. it. Um, those, th that tells us we just hit our minimum. Now this card will tell us our minimum is eight, our max is 25. We don't make more than 25. The max, that's the part I don't have. Okay. The max, I'll yeah. just make and make and make. Yeah. And then you have parts sitting on the, you yeah. have overstock. So the number one waste in lean is overproduction. The number two worst waste is excess inventory. So if you overproduce, that leads to excess inventory. Little downturn in sales, if you have employees, you got rent. I'm not going to pay them with pallets. None of my employees will accept pallets as paychecks. They need <laughs> check, cash. Check, you know? check, check. So, yes. so that's why we, we uh, watch that maximum quantity. That limits overspending. It limits, it's just trickle down effect. So, so when we get to, for this particular uh, uh, base, uh, is it uh, the top plates? Okay, eight is our minimum. And then um, there's all the specs of what it is. If we had to uh, cut it, that's all. Any any notes we just put there. Yeah. And then um, and then our vendor, we buy this particular from Coast Aluminum. So now all this information, how? Gosh, if I counted how many times I per make a purchase of this same material every yeah. year? Yep. Yep. It's every at least two to three months. Yeah. Something about like that. Every, about every quarter. Okay. About every quarter. Yeah. So the old way or the conventional way is I go in and I say, Hi, Greg. I'd like to order. 25 pieces of K100S 3 8 thick cut size of 18.125 by 24.125. Thank you, <laughs> Jay Pearson, Pearson Work Holding. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to do that not just multiple times a year, but over and over and over. So that is the purchasing part of it. But when I designed this product, I called all my vendors. I got all the relevant information. I got all the quotes, what works best for you, what are the minimums that you can do. And then they give me quotes and I chose one. That process is procurement, finding, like procuring who I should buy it from. Now it's purchasing. Purchasing is easy. Purchasing is made easy with this barcode. Bingo. That's, okay. okay. That's what I'm, okay. Yeah. All right. Gotcha. Gotcha. So all that relevant information. Let's step over here to this. Let's do. I'll pull up our custom um, purchasing software that we had developed. And I'm just going to scan this barcode. And so right here, oh, that is gold. it pulled up this email. <laughs> we oh, buy God. this one. Hey, I'd like to order 386 ATP5. All that cut information. Current market price is okay because we've already negotiated a price. Please <laughs> use PO, today's date, dash J, and my credit card on file. So now they don't have to send me an invoice. And then I send them. First, he's not sending me yeah, a quote. Yeah, yeah, And yep. then I'm sending him a God, PO. Yes. And then he's sending me an invoice and I'm sending him a check. That's crazy. Just use my credit card on file. And then I'll just make sure that the credit card statement matches the quote <laughs> okay. once, you know, and my bookkeeper does that, okay? Delivery to us, thank you. I hit send, this will show up tomorrow ready to go. Wait a minute, so hold on, wait, wait. Yeah. You don't have to bring up email, none of that. None you of scan that. the card, hit the blue button, Yeah. that goes, okay. purchase. Okay, so now once it's been purchased, okay. I'll, I'll hit send. It does yeah. a couple things, so it's gonna send it, it's gonna say it right. got through, and it's gonna show me a scan log to make sure, okay, we actually did order that, you know, and it went right. through everything. Everything's right. So then I will then take this. I know it got ordered. I'll put it there. I'm going to save that for later so that when we actually machine them, they come back into inventory. I go through and I pull that. 
and then I go to the minimum, eight, put the card, start stacking on top of there. I know with this <laughs> okay. Let me take one picture because yeah. I think this entire process was that is the piece I needed right there. Okay. I'm sorry. You don't mind if I take a picture. No, go for it. Yeah. Right. Wait, there we go. Check. Okay. Okay. So that just eliminated so yeah. much yeah. over processing. Yeah. Another yeah. lean based yeah. over processing. Yeah. We don't want to keep doing a bunch of work that we've already done. It's crazy work. Right. So there's nothing new, nothing needs to be procured, right. generated, no mental powers. No, just, no, no. It's just I need the same thing that Judy gives me every three months. Yeah. Yep. Judy knows me by first name. I yep. know her kids. Yeah. I know her kids' soccer games on yep. Tuesday. We, we all go to the same church. Right. Come on, Judy. <laughs> right. Okay, I got it. So got so it. yeah, see if you notice me in my office, I had no part of that. That's what yeah, because that's uh, sorry, man. Okay. Uh, yeah, get fired up. <laughs> okay. Okay, here's the thing. It's like I see a lot of people uh -huh. and I'm like, okay, okay. You know how when you're a little kid, like, I want to be like him, uh -huh. or I want to be like this superhero, uh -huh. and you start modeling yourself after that? Yeah. The reason I came here was that. I'm mm -hmm. like, okay, look, I'm about to 10X some stuff, Yeah. and I see myself, who do I want to be like? And uh -huh. most of the time I see, like, other people, uh -huh. they're in there, and it's like, they're running the show. You can see that they're competent, they know their stuff, uh -huh. but they're in the middle, and everything has to pass yeah. through them to get... Yeah. And it's just like, they have to be in every decision. Yep. And it's starting to get, I mean, I have, I have like a few employees now and uh -huh. it's starting to get like that. I'm like, okay, wait a minute, hold on. This yeah. is not the way I want to run it. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you said one thing, mm -hmm. I have an office. Yeah. Because most of the time I see other people, they have their desk right in the middle of the shop yeah. floor. Yeah, that's true. And it's just like, they're just like, right. they're just, don't get me wrong. I love I love machining. I love my business. Mm -hmm. But you don't want to be to where you're in everything. No. Okay. So that business model is a hub and spoke. Yeah. Owners the hub. Employees machines are spokes. Yeah. You can ride a bike with a few busted spokes. That hub goes out. You ain't going anywhere. That is a horrible business practice. I've so, seen that. Yeah. I've seen that. So and and it just adds stress. It adds. Uh, you can never go on vacation. Yeah. Um, no one can make a decision. It's a horrible way. So the thing we say around here is I'm the owner, but I'm not the boss. The process is the boss. So for example, like if I want to go out there and use the VF4, my shop foreman, John, will not let me. My general manager, Jerry, will say, nope, sorry, boss, you got to wait, <laughs> you know, because the process is dictating that I wait and we are running production on that. I don't get to use my machine because I own it, but I'm not the boss. <laughs> the process is the boss. Uh, okay, just a few minutes. Let's uh, go out this door. Yeah, I'm, I'm following you. Okay, so if you remember the board, we just ordered. Well, that's it for this part one of four. If you are interested in this type of thing, consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you're the first to find out and the first to comment. So in the next episode, we're gonna talk about how we handle material moving around the shop and process things. So until next time, go innovate your production.